Yep. Fried turkey. Fried turkey. Speaking of which, isn't that what we're doing right here? Yeah. So yeah, hopefully you can see James fried what this we're one. looking at. Yeah, this, so this is my first time frying a turkey. Never done this before. Uh, I did it today just for this event. Um, I think it turned out great. I followed the instructions on YouTube, as most of us do nowadays. And uh, it smells good and looks good. So um, Eric, what do it we do? What, what do we do first besides smelling it? What do we, I, I need to get an apron on it. You should go for that. While you do that, I'm gonna yeah. tell you about my favorite way to cook a turkey, because I did this last year, and it was the Bon Appetit. We did a turkey, and I made a bacon blanket that I laid over a top oh, of it. Oh, wow. Right? So, take about 12 strips of bacon, and you lay that on top of your turkey, and you let that drip over the turkey, and then it just forms all the juices down below, and then you take that bacon, you throw it in the Vitamix in the blender, chop all that up, and that is the greatest gravy that ever could be. So that's a really great way to cook your turkey. A little bit of a bacon blanket across the top, but of course deep fried like this is incredible. And you can just, I wish you could be here with me smelling these aromas. This turkey's been sitting for about two hours. James deep fried it for at least about six to seven hours in that fryer, really cooking nicely all day, slow frying the whole thing. No, it's not slow frying all day. When you put it in the fryer, it only takes like 45 minutes. Holy guacamole. Yeah. Then you, how long ago did you heat up the oil that was going on there? About an hour beforehand. Nice. So, there, when I showed up, there's a giant rig going on outside. Yeah. This guy, yeah. like a mad scientist. <laughs> it's, I rang the doorbell, nobody's here, but there's a mad scientist in the back pulling out this Man, incredible bird. Man, deep in his work. Like a ninja. Up, <laughs> like a ninja in his habitat. A turkey ninja. Look at that thing. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do this thing, so. All right, so what's step one? Okay, so step one, it's three different kind of parts we're gonna section off this turkey, so. Okay. Should we, well, I know this step, is gorgeous, but should we, one, should we talk about this and then maybe, I don't know. Before step one is you're gonna obviously have to have the right tools. Right? Yeah, there we go, okay. What we're gonna be using today, obviously, is the greatest tools are our cucumber turkey, and that is a Cutco knife. I've been the sharpest guy you know with Cutco for the last 15 years. If you haven't heard of it before, 100% American made. Oh yeah. And they're guaranteed forever. Yep. Our knives are kind of like the snap-on tools. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But with the quality of a Rolex, with the guarantee of a snap-on tool. Yeah. Right. But at the end of the day, the reason why so many agents, lenders, business owners love to use them is because their clients use them every single day. Right. Right. These aren't gifts that people eat or drink or forget about. They're things they use every day, yeah. and especially on the holidays, they're going to be having with their family. So. We're gonna be chopping this turkey up today. What we're gonna be using is our two, well really our most important knife here is our seven inch Sentoku knife. So James, if you wanna go ahead and grab that one right there. Okay. By the handle. Yeah. <laughs> Band-aids are sold separately. So All right. that's our seven inch Sentoku. Super sharp knife. Santoku, fun fact, if you care to know, Santoku is a Japanese word that translates to meat, fish, vegetables. Okay. which really means the everything they do. Yeah. So if you watch anything like Rachel Ray, Emerald, all the Food Network shows, they're generally gonna use this shape of knife. So in what it refers to is that drop point tip on there and then the curve on the belly. Okay. And we're also gonna be using our incredible deluxe carving fork here. So I feel like I'm ready now. That's pretty good. Look at this guy. Right? Look at this. Ready to rock. So, First and foremost, we're gonna, just because this part's not open, so common misconception when you first carve a turkey is that you need to remove the wishbone. Not actually true. However, there is the skin, completely closed on that part, so if Listen, you want to. Did you, are, are we on the camera where he, you, he, you can see? This one here, thank you. So if you want to, you, you can drop the fork for now. Okay. And we wanted to do it this way this year because last year I cut the turkey. And James was my incredible, I, I was No, I was more like a partner. cheerleader. So, yeah, sure, protege, whatever you want to call it. Today, I want to show James how to cut the turkey because yeah. just like I want to show you how to do it, it's actually really, really simple. It takes a couple simple steps and we're going to go through those today. Yeah. So, uh, first thing you're going to do is take that super sharp cut go knife. So just go ahead and cut the skin open there. Okay, like and uh, the front, any specific a way? Bit, like a triangle. So okay. as if we were to remove the wishbone, but it just gives a little bit of an extra area okay. on there. The biggest 
issue that most people have when they're cutting the turkey is the joint between the thigh and the leg. And so that's what we're gonna focus on getting through today. Perfect. Tip. Put that on the little tray there. So, okay. first thing we're gonna remove is the leg and then the breast, and then we're gonna cut the thigh and the wing off. Okay. So, you rotate your turkey around here. You're gonna be right. looking at it from behind. And you can see there's these natural joints right there with the leg. Yeah. Well, can, can you see that on the camera? You're gonna take your super sharp knife. Yep. It's real simple. You're gonna cut that skin off. All right, we're gonna work gonna on that. Naturally separate that joint there. And see, you can use your thumb, so now you even pull it apart a little bit at the base. Yeah, of course, I see. All so right. don't pull as much on the leg. All right. You can start to feel that separation a little bit. Uh -huh, yeah. Can you see the joint in there? Um, in? Almost, yeah. So kinda... here's a hot tip, and we're gonna pause right here. Yeah, this okay. is one of my favorite things to do. If you want to grab the knife, you want to rotate it around. And the best way to expose that joint, because it's really hard to find, is to actually push up on the bottom of the turkey. So you push up through the bottom there, and oh, okay. I want to expose that joint right in that middle right there. Look at that. So as opposed okay. to having to try and find it, look at your turkey from all different dimensions. <laughs> it's a bottom up, top down turkey situation. So you can see what I'm talking about right there. Absolutely. So you push up from the bottom and that exposes the joint. So if you want to go right. ahead. Well, give that little cut in there. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's, it's yep. pretty a much. A little bit right there. Yep. Yeah, that's Boom. it. Boom. And now that's going to remove the leg and thigh area, and you're going to bingo. I mean, you can Look feel it. That. It's If you do it just like he's saying, uh, just from my experience here, it's smooth. You're not cutting anything, you're just almost sliding. So, okay, so you take that to the side. And then we're gonna put that over there for now. All right. And we're gonna, yeah, we're hanging out to that. Okay. All right. So let's, let's cut it. another piece of this bird. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is the breast. And in fact, actually, let's remove the second leg to make this the most even. Okay. So you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So right. remember, first thing, skin, to grab the super sharp knife. And in yep. fact, you wanna grab a, uh, Towel here, just get any oil on your hand. Sure. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna get breach out underneath here. Up from the underneath, bingo. So let's see if I can get a handle on this. Get thing. under your bird. There you go. And you can feel as soon as you push up from the bottom. Yeah. It should expose that joint. So it's that same push wow. up from the Thank bottom. Wow. Thank you for that. Okay. So remember, look at your birds from all three dimensions, right? And we're yeah. gonna move this one around again. Are we on this camera, babe, so you can we see are. the close up over so here. Those two. So anyway, your favorite yeah, thing so you about see, here is there you go. Perfect. All right, okay. part two, the breast. And then we're gonna slice this up on here. Okay. So this is really a, a neat and kind of fun part. So you can, you actually, in fact, let's do the wings first. So the wings are relatively simple. You're gonna hit the bird from underneath as well. Okay. Pull that part apart and cut that, that wing piece off right there. Okay. So from, from here, you're gonna cut the wing. So it could, no, you want me to go joint. from this angle. So similar to the, okay. to the thigh, there's a joint right there, and you can push up and get inside of it at ah, that same place right okay. there. It's a slippery dude here. And on that, we can use the fork to anchor that in. Do you feel like you got the joint, or? Yeah, I do. Cool. Perfect. It's like, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. Um, that's why you need the sharpest guy you know around it. Yeah, you know what? Okay, that's so let's cut point. this breast off. When you do the breast, now you can do the breast before or after the wing. In fact, I was wondering when we would do that. I was like, should we do it first? And here's the thing I think it's important to remember when it comes down to carving your bird this Thanksgiving. Yeah. Something we had to remind everyone of next last year. Have fun. Yeah. Make it work. Absolutely. If it doesn't go great, well then shredded turkey tastes good as well. <laughs> right? It's all good for everything. Yeah. So, but with this, so what we're gonna look for right now is we're gonna cut down the the backbone, also known as the keel bone. Okay. And it's a bone right down the middle. Any fork you use for Thanksgiving should be long so it can anchor meat in so it doesn't slip or anything like that. And so you're gonna anchor that in probably to the other side. Okay. And what you're gonna aim to do is cut on the right side and then the left side of the keel bone. And we're aiming to separate this whole piece of meat in one piece aiming to keep all the skin intact. Okay. Because that's what really makes that super delicious, crispy Thanksgiving meal that everybody's used to. So okay. you're gonna dig the fork into one side to anchor the meat really hard in there. Okay. And then cut down the just right of the keel bone and then just left, we'll do the other side. So I'll let you keep Oh, in the right. left side? And then you're gonna oh. aim to cut just to the right of that bone. You feel that bone right in the middle? Yeah, I do. So just get a little cut of it as far as you can. Then you're eventually gonna hit the rib. And once you hit that rib, 
side we're, rock we're, you got, can peel yep, it yep, work in the yep, side and at that yep. point you can use your hands too to even peel it even further apart but you want to use obviously the sharpest knives in the world the cutco knives guaranteed forever 100 percent american made <laughs> and look at this huh Dude, oh, look at that right there okay, yeah okay. Get the rest of it. and this beautiful amazing breast with skin still attached to it incredible that worked out great right yep and obviously watch Um, get right on the side. Now this is a, a, a little something interesting I learned from carving multiple turkeys over the years and learning from the best masters in the world about turkey carving. Now this side still has the wing on it, which can be separated afterwards. Yeah. Oh, look at yeah. that. Call me a big one. Call me a marlin. There you go. Oh, marlin. <laughs> Dude, look, at the, look at that. Executed. That's Rest. really... We're you know, take, I feel like we're, we're going a little here. better than we did last year. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. And so here's, <laughs> here's the fun secret I learned about this too, is that this piece right here is one of the best piecing, best tasting pieces of the turkey. You said that that's the best meat. When I was doing all my tutorials and learning most okay. about this, it's one of the best so pieces. So every what, chef recommended we just eat it. So you just eat it. <laughs> okay, like so there's no tricks. Comes right on the top. You just eat it. Yeah. Okay. And then just the being sanitary, we won't eat it all right now. But it's just piece, there it is. <laughs> that piece right there. Oh yeah. Oh, that we'll does, save it. It does look good. And then yeah, I believe the wishbone, which from all I've learned is that it doesn't actually need to be removed. People right. stress that it needs to be removed. It's in the front end here. Uh -huh. So when you deconstruct your turkey this is something you can obviously pick apart if you're my dad who is for sure watching right now you'll just eat this on your plate or you can throw it into a stock or something like that yeah, yeah. all right killing it. again shout out to Lacey and the yeah. incredible support crew we have here <laughs> so, let's do this let's take this and we're gonna put this on a small plate here and this is hey shout out to james's family oh yeah and the whole crew here this is my daughter peyton and, and my son parker i don't even know if they're on camera okay <laughs> all right boom are we doing a good job <laughs> there you go are we doing a good job with the turkey did you see this turkey looking good right yeah all right all right so do you have a plate we can put this on and grab that look so Really simple here is when you're cutting the leg away from the thigh, most people, or it's very common, is to cut it from this angle and then you're just gonna tear it apart. Whereas if That's you flip it, whereas you flip it over, it will naturally expose this little bit right there and you're just gonna separate it. Okay. Similarly though, so you can see kind of how it has that line in the middle. Yeah. So it has that joint naturally to it. So, if you want to go ahead and give it no, a try? No, let's Remember, do this. you can't go wrong. It's already cooked. It's going to be delicious. So you can feel that bone and you can even pull it apart a little bit as well. So, remember, from the bottom, push from the end. Right. Before oh, yeah. you have the knife in there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> separate a little. Oh, I see what there. you're saying. Okay, there. so you, you separate and actually crack on Right, this. and then you're going to hit just to expose the joint. Got it. So you can get okay. a cleaner cut. So it's right in there. Got it. Give it a good push. Yep. Boom. Look What's at that, that turkey leg. Who loves a good turkey leg? That looks like something out of the fair. Like a medieval times. Look at that, dude. Wow. You know what? That's, that's a cover. That's that, a cover photo for next year. You know what? That's really good. I like that. <laughs> that look. That's. That fryer really did a good job yep. with this turkey. And then with the thigh meat, which thigh meat is specifically delicious because it's a dark meat with extra fat on it. This one, she has the bone that runs along the top here. So you can actually try and separate it from the bone while maintaining the skin. So if you see, it goes along right like this. Perfect. And then we're just trying to separate that one bone from all that good. Oh yeah. Oh, getting a little, getting a little cut up, but that's what it's for. God, it's like a giant hot wing. There it is. And then this again, <laughs> cut that off there. So I'll let you do the other side. Uh, perfect piece of leg meat right there. There it is. Another perfect leg. Uh, ooh. No? Ah, no, I'm giving sound effects. <sighs> oh, I thought I did something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> It's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. We should. We have this pie right here. I've been tempting you the whole time. They've probably been watching me. Like, when are you gonna pop? What do you do with all those super awesome knives? Where's the pie? Okay. Ask Lacey. 
I just, I wish, I wish y'all could be here today to celebrate this amazing event with us. Yeah. This is awesome, but mostly so you could smell what we're smelling right now. It really is incredible. But on that note, I think it's important to wish everybody who's watching a super happy Thanksgiving. I hope that your holiday is filled with incredible smells, amazing food, and most importantly, no politics. No politics. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, and the people you love around you coming together to yeah. discuss anything that's not political. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, all the people around you, because that's really what Thanksgiving is about. It's not so much how much you have, but how grateful that you are for the yeah. things that you do have. Yeah, it's about the people that you love and having them around you and spending time with the people that make you happy and you make them happy, so yes. If and, you have uh, any complaints, keep them to yourself. <laughs> Have a happy Thanksgiving, y'all. We love and appreciate you. Keep in touch. Thank you. Thank you. And stay sharp. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, James. All right. You guys have a wonderful night and a wonderful Thanksgiving. Reach out to us. Uh, you know, give me a call. Give us, give him a call. DM us, whatever the heck you want. Uh, but reach out to us if you have any questions at all about Cutco or uh, Guaranteed Rate Affinity, mortgage questions, uh, whatever it is. That's what we do. Okay. So this is. We do, we have our normal day jobs and then we have fun like this and we get to share this stuff with you. So uh, just think about us in case you ever need us. That's all. Thank you. Thanks, Stay guys. sharp.